everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video there's a few machines coming to the yard but this is the first of them a grain dryer an optical grain dryer i think it's a nine ton batch dryer bought it off jonathan hamilton there and then um, yeah there's two other things to come down as well but this is the first of them so i have to get this unloaded and then tires on it and into a shed but uh, it's looking like it might be a good purchase this year with the way the weather is gone it'll probably be wanted so when he said he was buying this and i said oh, geez, what do we need this for sure we never needed it before and now it turns out he foreseen, this he foreseen the wet weather <laughs> we'll try and get this unloaded now And we have it in the shed. I've done a lot of chancy things in my life. But that was nail biting getting that off. What do you think? I'm dead in the office. Nah, well, I couldn't really see. Yeah. So from where I was, I was green. <laughs> Everyone was fine. <laughs> Everyone was flat. Oh man, that was, it's off and it's in the shed. We were driving by, we're like, oh, this isn't gonna fit in. I'm just like, how do you tip into it now? You don't, so there's an auger so the way it works now we have to set it up and i think we're going to set it up in this shed for drying there's an auger with a flap comes out the back 
so you can tip a trailer in it fills itself and then it unloads across the top i actually think it bolts onto the top so i think then there's an auger bolts to the top and then you use that to throw the load out oh yeah no because the bits have to be attached to it yeah. and this is a gas dryer so it's powered by gas not diesel but i think what we're going to do is if we set it up in here we won't be able to tip trailers here but we can tip wet grain well no this will all be dry obviously we can tip our wet grain or our grain to be dried there use the telly then to bring it around tip it in and then we can throw it across the wall dry and then we have a dry store wet store so then that way it's not like everything's together and it's yeah it just i think that's the best way of working it now that it fits in here but yeah yeah look up he won't he'll hardly watch it that was hectic but anyways We'll um, show you when we get this set up, but we'll probably be wanting it the way the weather's gone. I on it, I put my hands up. I was like, why on earth are you buying this? And yeah, I now I have to keep my mouth shut because it's looking like we're going to be needing it. <laughs> you don't want it yet, Philip. Oh, I won't be, Jess. I have a good head of hair. won't be going in. When anyway. you foresee these things, you know why that is. But right. um, yeah, there's two more bits to come from Hamilton's and um, we'll show you them when they come. But yeah, that's number one in here. And now everyone, we are on our way to pick up the second thing we have bought. Um, it's all to do with grain, the three things we've bought. But um, yeah, the plan, the original plan was we bring two tractors and we'd meet Hamilton halfway down with his two tractors pulling our two implements. You'll see them when we get them, you can probably tell already what they are. But um, they're just flat out busy trying to get grain dried and stuff with harvest so they can only spare one tractor and bring down one implement so I'm on my way to go meet them so I don't know how long two three hour drive ahead of me heading for Monaghan now is the plan and from Monaghan on to Armagh so um that's the plan we we'll just meet whoever we meet him on the side of the road and um we swap and we come back but yeah hell of a drive ahead of me now we're in the 99 so we have speed 58.6 kilometers is as good as 60 kilometers an hour. I suppose I'll just show me. I see that there now. I'll go show him, see that everything is all right. I'm just sure driving while we're pulling up here for And um, yeah, we be on, we get going. We go bring back the second of the three things that we bought. And we are in Monaghan, two hours, two and a half hours just actually two hours 35 minutes since we left the house and there's what we're after buying a grain trailer I think it's 1997 wide flotations grain door cover very fully specced out grain trailer now right good bit of a trailer but um we'll show you more when we get back to the house so a lovely 6718 s pulling it there um so yeah we get hooked up and um yeah we get brought home a two and a half hour home so i might go in and get a bag of crisps or something and be on back so I should be back at half an hour just 12 1 2 I should be back by 2 o'clock should be and we are off on an adventure again to go pick up the last implement good drive ahead of me now we were just out putting out sorry for a farmer and just kind of got a bit too wet so we stopped and then we got the phone call trailers ready so oh, it kind of worked out not too bad so just leaving where we're working and heading off now to um go get this other implement i'm pretty sure i said it already but um anyways yeah so three hours and we should be back up in monaghan and we are back in monaghan again it is what time is it Somewhere between 10 past 6 or that, and we have the new trailer picked up. So, yeah, it is a Massey Ferguson 700. We'll show you when we get back to the yard, just in the car park, so there's no point. But anyways, three hours or two and a half, at least two and a half last time, we'll be home again. Let's be home. And that is us home with the Massey trailer. So, we're in the shed with the other trailer, as you can see, there's grain in it. So, yeah, we've We've actually been cutting, you'll see that video where we were, we caught with that trailer after the fact. 
But um, we're back now, so tomorrow is peeing rain at the minute, so tomorrow we'll take out the GoPro and we'll actually show you the trailer. But just looking at in close proximity to that trailer, the mass is a longer trailer. The trailer's back in the yard. So our grain hauling capacity has greatly increased. But anyways, pick it up in the morning. And here we have the new trailer looking at from that side. Just so you're wondering, that's Rory's car there, so it's nothing that's not hard. Rory's doing his bit of work on it. But um here we have our Massey Ferguson 700 com or combine trailer. It's a big trailer. It's a long trailer. It's a very long trailer. It actually pulled very, very easy behind the tractor. Like so much so I would have nearly I think I I'll go as far as saying it was easier pull behind the tractor than this trailer. But this trailer is on flotations. That's on smaller wheels. To look at them, that trailer looks slightly shorter than that trailer. But I give them a rough measurement and they, they seem to be both the same size, but this one does look bigger. The only thing about this trailer is she's quite shallow. So that's the floor, that's the top. Whereas you look at this, that's the floor and that's the top. So it's a very shallow trailer, but she is a lovely minter of a trailer and she's a Massey Ferguson. Like that look well behind the 6290, 3690, any of them trailers. It so really is a really nice trailer. It's lovely, straight, clean trailer. Like we seen that we went we went to Hamilton's and Father Phil had already brought the grain dryer from before because it was something he always wanted to get. And we were looking at buying a trailer. This trailer was the one that we went up to look at because he wanted something with a grain a proper hydraulic door and a roller cover, which was probably the biggest end of it, so that when we're delivering grain to people that we have a roller cover we can maybe not do it in the wet but we don't have the wind blowing the grain out of the trailer we can if we get rained off you know you can throw the cover over it just gives you more options and when we're up looking at that he showed us this trailer and we couldn't leave it behind we just yeah we could not leave it behind it's just such a lovely trailer and just to be able to kind of finance the buying of this trailer we will be selling a red rock trailer which is a 16, no, I think it's longer than 16 foot. Um, <clears throat> our plan is to maybe, if the axles are the same, we'll swap over the flotations off the Red Rock onto this trailer. So this trailer will have flotations on it. We'll put them small tires, but they have a lovely tread on it. There's lots of, lots of life in the tread onto the Red Rock, and we'll sell the Red Rock. Red Rock is, it's all right. Um, it needs a little bit of work. Tin work is getting a bit shoddy, but it has a good set of brakes on it. Right good set of brakes. Everything else is fine, but it's just getting a bit shoddy. So, if anyone's interested, give us a shout. We're selling that to finance the buying of this, or that was that's the plan. I you know, have it here now, but you, you know yourselves. That's that's kind of the theory, because we just, we've seen this, and we couldn't leave it behind. It's a massive trailer, and it looks brilliant. The one thing we will be doing, but to give it that bit more capacity, because it is... It probably holds just as much as the blue Marston trailer, um, even though this will be a longer trailer. But our plan is is to drop in some steel columns into there and then put maybe one 6x3 sheet or timber on it or two 6x3s. So rise it up either that six inches or a foot just to give it greedy boards. We call them greedy boards just to let it carry more grain. And for those of you that are wondering, the blue Marston that's there. Marston made the trailers for Massey. So the, the Marston is the very same trailer as that, just different spec obviously. But um, yeah, that's the Massey trailers are Marston trailers. And um, yeah. So how did we go buy two new grain trailers and a grain dryer? All bought off of Hamilton up there in Maher uh, Feld. I think it's Maher Feld. I'm pretty sure it's Maher Feld. Um, it was to increase our handling capacity of grain the intention was we would have had the other combine going we'd be running two combines running two combines you need more trailers so that we could actually handle the grain off two combines we do have enough drivers between myself father phil rory bro live we'd be able to run two combines three trailers and we'd knock it over people ask is do you do enough to justify two combines in the traditional sense probably not 
But with the way the weather is, if you two combines, you cut down the harvest time in half. If it takes a day to cut coal hill, you have that done in half a day. And with the way the weather is at the minute, that can make a massive difference to actually getting the harvest done. We know what it's like to lose everything with the grain and we just want to avoid it. And it was because we went to the second combine, we said, right, we need to increase our grain handling capacity to handle two combines, even though we're not running two combines this year, but we should be running two combines next year. We need to be able to handle that. The grain dryer then was something Father Phil always wanted. I was like, oh, we don't, I was like, oh, we don't need one. What? We never needed one before. And now I can tell you, I am dog with my tail between my legs, biting my tongue because he was right in the end. Because the grain that is in this trailer currently is 19%. We're going to have to tip it either this evening or tomorrow because it's starting to get a little bit hot. Same with what's in the Marston as well. It's all our grain is over 16%. I think we've got one load at 16%. And the grain dryer now needs to be up running and getting this stride. And only for it, we still, we wouldn't have caught hand. We'd still be waiting to try and get a dry enough, dryer. So the grain dryer, yeah, we need it. We have, we have a lot to do now. We're getting a shed set up, a proper built shed and all of that. But that will come hopefully next year, maybe. But for now, we're increasing our grain handling capacity. And for those of you saying we bought a lot of stuff this year, we did. We probably stretched ourselves a bit too far, to be honest. But, you know, we had a pretty good beef year this year. Grain was quite good last year, you know. So that's, that's kind of where it's at. But yeah, we, we probably did stretch ourselves a little bit too far. But look, we have it all. It's all in the yard now, so that's all that matters. And that's the last that we'll be buying this year. There's nothing else. Now, they were the last ones. We hinted at these because we looked at these trailers quite some time ago and we hinted at them on the live stream for 70,000 subscribers that that's what was coming. I can't just remember, did anyone get it? But I think some people did. But yeah, there are a while getting here, but we got it all sorted in the end. But look, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're now really increasing the handling capacity. We're going to leave it at that for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.